Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Good to see you. Nice to see you. I'll, I'll make this day maybe a little worse than it is outside, but then I'm going to make it much brighter by the end of it, okay? Come on inside. Okay. Well, we have cleaned up your house. I mean, what we try to do is protect the house and lay down. We don't want to damage anything. Uh, damage anything. We're going to damage a lot, actually. <laughs> Let me explain a few things. It probably would have been better if you got a home inspector to tell you some of the things that we saw. Let's see, you need to really rerun all the ductwork in your house, and that means we're going to rerun all the ductwork in the house. Electrical, complete rewire of electrical. Throughout the years in this house, somebody's done a lot of renovations and have messed with the electrical. Uh, we have a lot on too many circuits, so too, too much overload on one circuit, and a lot of circuits that actually even Joe turned off one on the panel and turned off almost half the house which is not good. You got a pretty big panel there. Uh, a lot of ungrounded outlets, correct? That's right. And a lot of hidden junction points. Whoever did the work in here didn't do it with permits, didn't do it properly. It was an eye-opener. I didn't realize all these other electrical issues. I mean, I looked around and I saw all these panels, these, you know, a lot of outlets, but I didn't realize behind all the stuff that he saw, I really truly thought that this was one house. He wasn't going to find anything more than what I told him. The problem with you being here is pulling down this ceiling and the ceiling in your kitchen, the ceiling in that room, and really doing a lot of exploratory work downstairs, running all new electrical, is that it's going to make your world just a little bit upside down. You're going to be breathing in all the crap, and it's better to get you out of the house for safety, okay? Let's start downstairs. So we're now up in the area of so far, and I haven't told you everything. Oh, yeah, I mean, 60 grand. Uh, yeah, easy. I'm so grateful that um, his whole team is in here getting this house because the amount of money that it would have cost me is just, uh, I would never have been able to have done it. If you're in the tub and it's full of water and you can get up and you can flick your timer switch, but you're standing in water, you are 100% grounded. And if for any reason this is not wired properly, boom, your heart stops. There is no stop in that. We have rules when it comes to electrical. We have rules when it comes to gas that the copper cannot meet other metals because simply it will corrode it. And running that gas fume, that natural gas, through the ductwork, bringing it back to the furnace, brings it right to the flame. And what can happen when gas hits flame? Explosion. That's your house, not mine. I don't want your house to explode, so we're going to fix it, okay? Let's go upstairs, and I'm going to explain the condensation on your walls. I haven't even put up any photographs because there's a concern about if there's water getting through, I don't want the photographs to damage, so that's why the walls are blank, and I really hate that after you know, moving in here that I can't put up photographs. Okay, I can actually explain in your son's room. Did you have any conversation at all?